Good morning, my friends. It is time for verse of the day. And today's verse is a little bit of a sober one. I'm going to read it. We're going to talk about it. And then I have a question for you at the end. Now, this verse is meant for those people who have not acknowledged Jesus as their Lord and Savior. They are not born again. And um, so if you are born again, then this verse in and of itself does not pertain to you, but we can get information from it. So I am going to read Romans chapter 1, verse 26, and it really encapsulates the thought of the rest of the first chapter of Romans. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read just the first half of verse 26 because um, this platform doesn't allow me to get into some issues that the rest of verse 26 gets into. So I invite you to read the whole verse on your own. Uh, but let me read it here. It says, For this reason God gave them up to vile passions. My friends, there may have even been times in your life before you came to faith when God allowed you to do things and experience things that he didn't want you to to experience. Even those awful bad things God can teach us through. I've been very open and talked about my time in New Age and my time uh, practicing stuff on Ouija boards. God allowed that in my life so that I could see Satan for who he is and come to faith in Christ. Through knowing Satan, I knew Satan existed. And so if Satan existed, maybe God didn't. Absolutely, he did. And God used that powerfully. But my friends, we need to understand the sad truth that there are people in the world, of the world, who have not acknowledged Jesus as their Lord and Savior, that God will simply say, okay, if my will is not going to be done, then let your will be done. He allows them to get lost in the vile passions of the world. My friends, today my question is simple. Are you thankful that God didn't let you do that? Are you thankful that you finally said, I don't want the world, I want you, Lord, and please comment if you want to make that decision that you want the Lord's will to be done. Tell me today in the comments. My friends, I love you, and God's got this.